I want to welcome you to week three and day four of our study on revival and evangelism. Now, last week at this time, I talked to you about the weapons that we have, and we've talked about the, the blood of the Lamb, the power of the message of the cross, and then we talked about the word of our testimony. And I took that from Revelation chapter 12 and verse 11, where it says, And they overcame him, Satan, by the blood of the Lamb, the word of their testimony, and that they loved not their lives even until death. And there's a third weapon that God has given us, and that is a life that is holy and completely surrendered to God. God is looking for a person who will yield themselves completely to Him, and that person will become an instrument in God's hand. You can be God's instrument. You don't have, I'm not saying you have to be a preacher, and you, you may be a preacher, but you can be God's instrument. God wants to use you. He wants to use you as an instrument of revival, of bringing others to Christ. Uh, there was a great preacher evangelist by the name of D.L. Moody, and, and he was in Scotland preaching over a hundred years ago. Uh, God was using him, and he was preaching, and a man from Scotland said this to him, the world has not yet seen what God can do with a person wholly yielded to him. And Mr. Moody said, by the grace of God, I will be that man. And Mr. Moody put one foot on Western Europe and one foot on North America, and he shook the continents for the glory of God. And God is looking for a man. God is looking for a woman. God is looking for a young person who will say, Lord, I surrender to you completely and totally. And when God finds such a person, he will use that person in a mighty way. I'll never forget many years ago, I was in what was called Czechoslovakia. It's, it's two countries now, but I was in Czechoslovakia and I met an old man. This old man had spent five years in prison for his faith in Jesus Christ. And, and uh, I was in his home and the old man told me something that I've never forgotten. He said, many people come to my country and they want to make a big fire for God. He said, I don't want to make a big fire for God. He said, I want to be consumed by God's fire until I am ashes. And when I am ashes, then I will see the glory of God. And we were speaking in the German language, and he said, Verstehen Sie mich? Verstehen Sie mich? Do you understand me? Do you understand me? And I said, oh, yes, I understand your German. And he said, no, I'm not asking if you understand my German. I'm asking, do you understand what I'm saying? When I am so much nothing that God is everything, then I will see His glory. Oh, I tell you what, when we come to the place where we are so dead to ourselves and surrender to God that He is everything, He will use us. That is an incredible weapon. There are two other weapons that we have. One is prayer. I've talked a lot about prayer during these sessions. Prayer, the person who's yielded to God begins to pray. And the Bible says the effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man, a person who's yielded to God, is, is mighty. It's mighty in the hands of God. So God will use you as you pray, as you yield your life to God, and you pray God will use you. And the second weapon besides prayer is that of the Word of God. So as you yield yourself to God, you take the Word of God. And I'm not talking about beating people over the head with the Bible. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about gently, under the leadership of the Holy Spirit, lovingly caring for people, bringing them into a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. God will use you. He wants to use you. You can be the person that He uses. You have to yield yourself to Him. Would you become so much nothing that He is everything? If you will, He'll use you.